brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, brother wisdom. What's going on, guys? All right, that last message came through ancient motherboards. And it was important for us to understand and understand, understand about the ancient motherboards because the ancient motherboards, all right, were in the ground, just like we said before. Just had to give you all a visual representation of the ancient motherboards, all right? Let you know what they really look like so you can have, so you can, uh, have something in your head on what to create, how to create, how to build. All right, like we said in the in the in the message, we as the original beings, we are fully operational units. All right, when you're dealing with fully operational units, you're talking about nanotechnology. All right, this, this huge colossal planet, and us, the original so-called black people. All right, we are literally the nanotechnology that runs the planet. All right, as we are awakening. We're putting things back into balance slowly because we have now realized that we have a duty on the planet to protect the planet, to fight for the planet. That's why Biden made that, uh, that well, that fake Biden, uh, fake Joe Biden, made that uh, that statement through, uh, I think it was CNN, that America will be fighting uh, a battle on the, on the U.S. soil with foreign entities, you gotta understand what foreign entities are talking about. We're talking about the return of the Anunnaki, all right? Who are the Anunnaki? We're the children of the Anunnaki, okay? That's who we are. We're the children of the Anunnaki. We are the original beings. If we're the children of the Anunnaki, then we are the Anunnaki. We so-called uh, uh, African-Americans, all right? We are the original uh, Anunnaki, all right? And every structure on the planet that was built was built by us. It was not built by an alien. It was built by us. And this was built trillions and trillions of years ago on our planet by our ancestors, those who were the immortal ones. All right. Uh, so if we, if you looking at uh, the information on who we are as fully operational units, what you must understand, understand, understand is that as fully operational units, we operate at the highest potential energy that the planet gives, all right? That's what we're talking about, fully operational units, okay? This is what gave us the ability to fly, to levitate, teleport, uh, disappear, to make energy come from our bodies, pyrokinesis, telekinesis, uh, hydrokinesis, aerokinesis, uh, electrokinesis, uh, seismokinesis, all this, we, we, we had that ability, all right? And those abilities are dormant within us because the, the motherboard of our planet is not structured by us, but yet by our enemies. Our enemies have structured their motherboards that they want to, that they needed to operate their monetary system, which is a virus program on our planet. All right. Their money system, their money, money system is a virus program that is designed to feed only them and nothing else with the original beings. If you can if you can take notice, anytime our brothers and sisters get a hold of this so-called uh, power, what they call money, anytime our brothers and sisters get a hold of it, they lose their minds, literally. No matter how much they have already, no matter how much they're gonna get, they lose their minds. Why? Because this was not designed for them. This is not a power that was designed for us. All right, all in the church, what do they do? They, they preach money, 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 money. So they're preaching the virus program. They're not talking about who we are as the original being. They're not talking about us building structures and, and, and meditation and tapping to our inner selves. Only thing they're talking about is money, money, money. It's a virus program designed to destroy, steal, kill, and destroy. It steals every bit of ounce of life from you. It kills off everything that ancestors laid left for you and it literally destroys you and your families that's what this virus program is all about so as we are uh entering this mode of pure inception okay we're entering the mode of pure inception it's time for us 
to take ourselves to this new level of power and energy, which is going to literally take us to uh, higher heights on our own planet. All right. This is this is what it's all about, brothers and sisters. All right. It's all about us going into this uh, uh, powerful energy to get rid of the deception, to get rid of the, uh, the ignorance, to get rid of the lies. All right. Everything that we've been taught are nothing but lies. Everything that we've been taught is nothing but destruction. There is no truth. Only truth they ever told us is that that um, we don't belong where they are. All right. So our key point is to understand that we as the fully operational units on the planet should be at the point of for the operation, a full operation. All right. We as fully operational units on our planet should be at the point of full operation, which means that our the, the, the operational units within our bodies, which are these ele these elements, these organs that we uh, have in us. These organs are designed to take us to a new level of energy and power to a whole new level of energy and power. All right. That's why we, that's when we go into supernova. When you talk about supernova, a supreme new energy. Nova literally means new. All right. That's what Nova means. Nova means new. So you got a supernova. You got a supreme new power, a supreme new energy that is within your body. All right. And this energy is designed to um, carry you beyond the scope of what mankind has mandated to be uh, 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 un, uh, to be carried. Okay, so when we talking about tachyum speed, we talked about tachyum speed, and we talked about how our minds literally, our our minds literally, our thoughts travel 477 trillion miles per second. Okay. Um, this is what's taking us to new heights. Just by thinking on a new level changes the atmosphere. You know, we no longer have to, uh, well, when we began building, let's just say that when we began building and creating on a massive rate, we would no longer have to brace for the weather that they create. See, the weather is a, it's a program. It's a, it's a the program, a virus program that is designed to offset the original programs on the planet, which is one of the main um, laws, uh, laws on the cosmos, which says that uh, there should be no, there should be no one who shall offset the original balance or the original program of a planetary body. Okay. So this is what this is what we're looking at, brothers. This is, we're looking at the the fact that these beings are um, are scared of this movement that we're making because the movement that we got that we're going to be making this a forward movement. We're not looking to protest. We're not looking to march. We're not looking to negotiate. We're not looking to compromise. We're not looking at any of these things. All right. We're looking at ourselves. We say, okay, then the only way we can make ourselves better is that we've got to build. We've got to create. And those that ancient motherboard, those ancient cities, when we begin building, this is what takes us back to um, the fully operational units. When you talk about fully operational units, I'm going to say it again. Redundancy. Fully operational units is literally nanotechnology. All right. We as original beings of the planet are the nanotechnology that runs this planet. Without us, this planet would not exist. All right. We created the planet and in return, the planet created us. All right. So that the the internal, the internal, eternal uh, uh, quantum energies that was that was that's in our bodies that we use to create the planet. The planet says, OK, now that energy that you use to create me, I need you to be here in the physical to keep me moving. So it is us, the original beings who are keeping this planet moving, which means it's us, the original beings who have the power and the final decision to end this thing just by us building one motherboard, just by us building one motherboard, all right? We offset the, the entire balance of they, their uh, 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 inorganic system that they created on the planet, all right? Everything is for profit. Everything is for profit. There's nothing that that is designed to 
feed nature or feed the planet or feed anything. Everything is for their profit and their profit only, okay? To make them feel more powerful where they can sit back in a chair somewhere and they say, I've got people working for me and I can make all this money and I don't have to do nothing and I can go visit all the islands and visit all these places. I can go out of space. I can go to Antarctica. I can do whatever I want to do. And they're sitting there waiting, working for me because this is a part of the silent war. All right. It's part of the silent war. It's a silent war that's going on right now. All right. The schooling, the, the, the work, the money is part of the silent war that they have against us. And we never knew that there was a silent war. That's World War One. The first war that they had against us was that silent war after they. um, Well, actually, that would be World War Two, because the World War One was the very first war that they had against us. That caused us to fall from from our powers and abilities. World War Two was a silent war. All right. When they dropped the physical chains and used the mental chains. See, that's World War Two. So that World War Two is still in operation. But World War Three, all right, the real World War Three is when we wake up. And this is what they're scared of. They're scared of our awakening. They're scared of our uh, uh, tapping into this this powerful energy to take us into this next level of, uh, of, of pure um, uh, solar uh, dominance, all right? All right, and this is what literally will take us to a new height, and this is what literally will make us superior of all of them. All right, so this is our key point, brothers and sisters. We are fully operational units here on our planet, and we are designed to operate at full capacity on our planet. All right, we're designed to right, operate at full capacity. It's no, we we don't, we're not supposed to be bracing for their weather that they're going to create. We're not supposed to be bracing for their winter time. We're not supposed to be bracing for the next tornado. We're not supposed to be bracing for anything. We're supposed to be thriving and 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 on our planet. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to be building and we're going to be building our structures. And I've got many designs in my head already. The things I want to do. All right. So brothers and sisters, um, I'm just letting you know, brothers out here and brothers and sisters here in Detroit. All right. When we make the announcement where we're going to start building, I'm going to be out there with the rain, sleet or shine. All right. Just to let you know, I'm going to be out there. I'm going to be building. I'm going to be creating because the, that that energy is here and that time is coming for us to start building. All right. So I just pass that on to you, brothers and sisters. I hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that we saying. We are the fully operational units on the planet. And it's, it's time for us to take back what belongs to us. But first, we got to build. All right. Once you build your computer programs, because you got to understand we as fully operational units. We're cyborgs. We're organic machines. We must build the programs that we need to help us to operate at full capacity. Without the programs, we can't operate at full capacity. All the thing we're going to be doing is emulating something that we see on TV. All right. And it's time for us to stop dreaming of what we see on the movies and it's time for us to start doing what we can do in reality but first we had to build the power that we need and when we build the power that we need we will operate on the power that we're supposed to operate on which is supreme power all right when you say supernova supreme new energy all right a supreme new energy a supreme new power all this belongs to us okay all right well, with that brothers and sisters i'm gonna catch you a little, a little later all right and you know the deal all power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. Much power to you all.